Hello, hello, and uh, welcome back to Distant Worlds. So, after reading a few comments, um, I will be looking at my space port, and we'll have a look at redesigning it, make it more efficient, probably getting rid of a few construction yards. And, um, yeah, I was kind of thinking about how we're going to deal with the pirate problem. I'm actually just going to start, the there we go, sort out that. Right, so to deal with the pirate problem we've got at the moment, I was reading up on like the weapon components, and uh, we're going to have to go with railguns for the moment. Now, railguns are pretty fantastic. They bypass shields completely. So, these um, pirates here, so, like this arsehole here with the cruiser, he has 600 shields. Usually, if we were using laser weaponry, which I thought I was going to go at first, we'd have to batter the shields down and then hit him. But I think what we can do is we can um, design some frigates and take advantage of um, the, well, the railgun, railgun's ability to bypass shield surf, and that's what we ought to do. At the moment our uh, frigates are actually the same cost as destroyers, so I'm not too sure what the difference is. Mm, I think it may be to do with the size or speed or something. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's probably to do with just the size com of the components they can carry. Oh, that would make sense. So, let's see. We're going to get rid of these seeking missiles. Seeking missiles are, well, missiles are good in general. But I'd rather go for, well, I don't know, we might add some. So, long range gun is easier to send of a name for the railguns at the start. So we'll go with 5, that would give us 25 firepower. Um, probably nowhere near enough, so... Hmm. The only problem is our cost is quite a delicate issue at the moment. And we don't have armor as... oh no, we do have armor. So it may be prudent just to try and armor these ships up. Well, we do have some shields, so that's okay. Hmm. We can get rid of the ion thrusters. We're not going to need the speed for now. So, let's see, that would cost us a thousand, so that's three thousand and a thousand to maintain. It has fifty firepower, um, two hundred armor, and it has some shielding. How much shielding is that? Uh, 200, 100. Okay, well, we'll get rid of some more engines. There we go. So it's not a fast ship by any means, but it doesn't need to be. That's the thing, it just does not need to be. Uh, we can get rid of some fuel as well. It doesn't really bring the maintenance down too much, does it? Um. Okay, whoops. Actually, no, we'll go for a third shield then, if it makes it fairly. I mean, it's going to be about a thousand, and um, I'm okay with that. We'd have to build a decent amount. And what's this about? Do we know the technology or something? I'm confused. Uh, where's our destroyer? Destroyer. Okay. Hmm. I may have messed that up then. Did I just press the wrong button then? I probably did. That is interesting. Okay. Add new. Oh, bollocks. I'm going to have to find my ships now, aren't I? Uh, I think we're near here. The, are these our ships? No, these are not our ships. Balls. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, no, what I can do is I can just go to um, this over here. There we go. Um, hmm. A lot of cool designs, actually. Right. I like that you can pick what your ship's actually going to look like. <laughs> It'd be interesting to make it look like a station, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, hmm, I'm not too sure. We'll go with um, we'll go with that. I think that looks kind of cool. Flee when shields twenty percent or lower. Uh, we're going to tell them not to flee for now because if we need to, 
We need them just to stand off. We need them to attack. Weapon, weaker opponents, all weapons. Stronger opponents. Stand off. All weapons. We can change this later. It's probably not the right decision as of now. So as before... Uh, actually, no, we're screwed. We'll just have to add a bit of life support. It's not too much, as I suppose. Yeah. It's interesting. This is basically a frigate design. Hmm. Well, if it keeps the cost cheap, but I'm not too bothered, actually. So what we'll do is we'll add some uh, railguns. Yeah, see, the cost is rapidly ri uh, risen there. There we go. We may add some pulse blasters, just... There we go. So that increases the firepower to 66. So we have the rail guns to blast past the shields. Then again, these aren't really going to be too much use, are they? Because they're not going to get past the shields. Um, we'll keep two just to have that. Right, we do not have a supply of required resources currently. Okay, maximum size 230. So that was probably what was causing the issue earlier. So, let's get rid of some engines. There we go, we should be okay now. Can we fit some more armor on then? Yes, we can. Right, so we're at two, do, 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 250 armor. So it's going to cost us about a 1,000 to maintain as before. So save... There we go. Now if we can produce some of these destroyers. There we go. Um, three should be sufficient. Possibly. Now let's look at our world. We're at a 20% tax rate. So that's not too bad. Um, the thing is at the moment our income is just awful. It's just these pirates. If they left we'd be able to... Actually, where's the cruiser? Did the cruiser leave? Oh boy. Okay. Actually, we're going to look at our... Um, do, 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 our medium space ball. We need to try... Oh, God damn it. We need to make this a little bit more efficient. So apparently we don't need as many as these. So let's see. What was that with? It's like... God damn it. Um, so let's just work out how much we're going to save. Yeah, so that's saving us a decent amount. We don't need these many, well, this many docking bays, I don't believe. Yeah, should we go with that many? I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, it's got a lot of shielding. Does it really need that much shielding? I don't think it needs that much shielding. How much is that shaving? Uh, shaving. Saving us. Hmm. Yeah, we've got way too much energy being produced. Yeah, that's bringing the cost down significantly. Um, do we have our energy collectors yet? I don't think we have the technology yet. So that's not too bad. So 10 shields. We'll add some armor. And we can add some... Hmm. Or does it need to be weaponized, I wonder? So what's the range? So that's 400 range. Let's see. Maybe there's some more shielding. Oops. Okay. We'll have to add one back then, I guess. There we go. So that's an... Yeah. So now this is a cheaper design. I do hope so. I'll come back to this um, repeatedly anyway. I mean, uh, the thing is, I, I, I don't... Well, I know how to design ships, but I'm not aware of the best designs of, as of yet, really. Right, okay. God damn it. At the moment, I'm just trying to figure out um, how much I can remove before we go into... It. Well, we run into issues. Could we remove another reactor then? No, not quite yet. Once we have our um, 
Well, our energy collector is basically our giant solar panels. We would be able to be fine when in a slight negative because we'd be able to collect energy as well. So we'll go for this. This should be a cheaper ship. Well, a cheaper station, that is. So we'll refit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So the good thing is, it's looking like um, their cruiser has uh, disappeared. Which is fantastic, actually. If we have three destroyers ready to go, and it's only these uh, escorts remaining here, we, we will be able to rip them a new one. Uh, what is our shielding like? Oops. Ooh, a new intelligence officer. Yeah, so they have 400 shields, so they do have some considerable shielding. Right, so we're researching railgun technology, we're researching transport systems, storage systems. Um, actually, instead of... Ooh. We're going to stop researching these at the moment. We're going to research entertainment systems and medical systems. Now, after reading up a little bit, if we build entertainment and medical on board the actual station itself, it increases the happiness of the planet. So we'd be able to increase our tax rate a little bit more while keeping the population very happy. So I think that's what we need to do. And uh, speaking of the intelligence officer, we should send him out. So we're going to send him to the pirates. These pesky arsehole pirates are going to plague me for the entirety of the game until I go out there and I blow them up. So what should we go for? Medical systems. Uh, we may as well try and get some research. Well, steal some research on the warp field precursor. Right, so these guys are busy, see your territory map, fair enough. Scientist is busy researching. Okay. Yeah. If we can try and steal some research from the uh, pirates on the warp field precursor, that's going to save us a heck of a lot of time. It's not even funny how much time it will save us. And um, also, probably when we sorted our finances out, where is it? Do -do -do. Okay, so we've got those queued here. Does it show anything within the system? Uh, where is it? There we go. When we have some extra cash, I'll probably build another construction ship and we'll go and repair this destroyer. Now, we gain a research bonus while repairing this and also once it is repaired, it is a formidable ship. And it is just fitted with advanced technology, so that is a really big thing. Okay, so our destroyers are being built. I wonder then, probably, I don't know, it might be the wrong design. I, I imagine the differences between the ship classes is basically just the size of the components. I'm not too sure. As I've said before, I'm not too clued up in this game. And um, probably like yourselves, if you've never come to this game before and you're just watching this now, it's a learning experience, and I think that's what makes it fun. Okay, so our private ships are going now and trading. Fantastic. So let's take a look at the universe then. Well, the galaxy. So these um, stars over here. Okay. Uh, they will be within range once we have our warp field precursor technology, but we're going to need hyperdrives and we're going to need advanced tech. There's a lot of galaxy to go. These nebulas, I do believe they um, slow you down. So that's not too bad. I mean, once we develop long-range um, scanning capabilities, if there was some kind of fleet to approach us from this way, it'd be slowed down. It'd give us more time to respond. And uh, knowing it's coming would be fantastic. Yeah. So up here is basically dead. So we'll have to try and advance down here. Okay. How long until our ships are built? Because I'm getting kind of worried about our money situation. It's an automate. Okay. Right, so they're almost done. That's good. I think after this, what I'll probably do is I'll refit the station once again. Take the weapons off, just to make it a little bit cheaper. Made sense is a big issue at the moment. Um, it does have shielding, though. So it will be... Effective. There we go. Our javelins. And we have our admiral. Good. 
good. Right, so we'll form a fleet. Alright, you join the fleet. And you join the fleet. Now this fleet, you shall come here. Here our child. Uh, we'll assign the Admiral to the first fleet. Boom. Uh, we have a ship captain that we shall transfer to the first javelin. There we go. I do like how they're called javelins. That's pretty, that is pretty cool. Okay, so we have 150 firepower here. Okay. I wonder. I wish there was like some kind of way to like um, have them in a formation. Okay. So these ships are slow, but they're only the first things. It's only just to deal with these pirates. We needed some heavily armed and armored ships just to put up a fight. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to tell them to attack. Now will they start firing? Just one sec. Hello and I'm back. I uh, I apologise that uh, for that. Sorry, that's what happens when family doesn't know you're doing this, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> right. So we've issued an attack order. Um, suppose we should wait for our shield, shouldn't we? So we'll tell the uh, fleet to hold off for now. We'll let the shield recharge. At least we're in a good attack position anyway. Right, so we'll let the shield recharge. God, this is going to take a long time. So we'll just speed it up a little bit. There we go. How much do we have? 33. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. Right, so we're issuing attack order. Let them get into position. Um, we shall... Okay, so they've... Oh, God, they've got so much firepower. Right, so we'll cancel our protection payments. There we go. And let the fireworks begin. There we go. Do they not have the range? I don't think they have the range, do they? <laughs> okay. There we go, now they're opening fire. So it's almost point blank range, so we might have probably wanted more engines. But it's doing the job well enough. I'd like to think so. Doesn't look like it's taken any damage. Ah, there we go. Now it's taken some damage. So that's one down. I was kind of worried that I was thinking she should have added some more... Uh... I can't actually like select the ship there. So we'll automate them. The station's taken some damage. It's kind of irritating that it's right there. But the rest of our ships are getting there. Um, its missiles should... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these ships are awful. Oh, that's awful. Okay, but we've dealt with the pirate problem for now. So let's redesign our awful, awful destroyers. They are absolutely terrible. Oh my god. So all we ought to do is uh, we'll add some longer range. What is the range, actually? 100, 150... We're going to need the missiles, aren't we, really? Yeah. We'll add missiles, then. Okay. Uh, we can have some more ion engines again. How can we reach? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, for a little bit extra. Oh. Never mind. Oops. They're quite large components, aren't they? Or do we just remo uh, remove the rail guns? I mean, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Well, these are large components. And then again, we're going to need some speed. <laughs> God damn it! Can we remove any hubs? We can actually, so that's good. Okay. This is basically a bloody uh, frigate setup, isn't it? I feel that's what I feel like. I feel like it doesn't quite have the thruster power 
for something so large. Okay. Um... We've got an excess of energy, so we only need the one reactor. There we go. There we do. So we're under our thing now. So I think what we'll do is we'll um, have two rail guns. Then we'll add some more missiles. We'll remove two armor just so we can fit on an extra missile. Okay, that's uh, that's it. It's actually cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. So we'll have our uh, fleet refit to this new design. We should be better. Okay. Create new fleet, whatever. Uh, we'll tell them to go and refit to latest design. Okay, there we go. So we've sorted out the situation with the pirates now. Which is uh, good, because we're kind of running low on cash. And that's not good if we run low on cash. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to increase the tax rate just to 30%. Um, I would get rid of this, <laughs> but kind of, I don't want to be raided. And I don't want to lose too much population to raids. Okay. Good, right, now we're starting to make money. We could probably bring this down to 25%. Let's see how much money we make. I want to try and balance the um, population growth with the tax. It's it's a delicate thing. Increase on our population and um, also our, well, our GDP value. Well, just the value generally increases a lot of things for us. Right, so if we increase it to 27%, we should be good. There we go. What have you built here, my friend? You've just finished this. Okay, so you built on the land moon. Now these um, luxury resources. I'm really hoping that's going to bring us some income in. It's a good amount of them. Where is it over here? We have our exploration ship. Um, I'll probably... Yeah, we're going to have to de uh, definitely get rid of our exploration ships once... They finished the spawn the system. And there's not much point having them. If they're not being used at the moment anyway. Okay. So we have a decent little fleet actually. It's not too bad. They're quite slow, the ships are fairly slow. But that's the problem with having a uh, 230 size limit at the moment. Not too much we can do about it. Oh, thank you, Christ. Yeah, the... Oh, this is so much better. You can find ships around the system where uh, basically you can board them and um, bring them on side. So that's been added to the fleet, so we now have four ships, 192 firepower. Now let's have a look what's actually on board this ship. Let's see. Okay. Are you basically finished? We'll tell you to go retire. Retire at nearest scrapyard. Okay, so let's take a look at what's on board the ship. We'll go with military ships. There we go. The Overpowering Dragon. So it has concussion missiles. Uh, it's basically a missile armed ship. Uh, standard armor, combat targeting system, proton thrusters, standard fuel cells, a basic proximity array, Corvidian shield, yeah. Efficient reactor, hub module. Yeah, so it's, it's somewhat advanced. It's more advanced than we are right now, anyway. I always like the look of that ship as well. It has quite a unique flavour to it. So that's kind of cool. Now, I'm not too sure what time... Uh, well, what the timing is on this episode. Kind of got thrown off by being interrupted there. Kind of reset the timer, so... Um, I think we'll go for another minute or two. Hopefully we'll be on time. Hopefully. I'm going to try and get these episodes uh, recorded when I can. So you just have to probe these things. <laughs> so we redesigned our system. Well, our, um, our ships. Okay. Our research is kind of slow at the moment, but 
is mostly um, due to being humans. If we were some other research oriented race, um, it'd be a lot faster. But then again, we are gaining like a 40% bonus, so that's not too bad. Yeah, for you. What we'll have to do is we'll have to find a. Is it the gas joint over here? Yeah, what we'll have to do is we'll have to construct a high-tech research station over here, and that will give us a bonus to research, which is fantastic. Could also do with uh, building a gas mining platform there. But the thing is, we're free of the pirates for now, so that's good. Right, we'll have to renew this. We're going to need those resources. What are we actually lacking at the moment? Okay. Right, let's look at what we have. So we have polymer, carbon fiber, chromium, necrostone, gold, we have lead, we have two sources of lead, steel, and some more gold. Uh, we probably could do with some Arklon. Oklun. Oklulion. But I don't know if we have any in the actual system. Do we have any asteroids? Okay, so we have some asteroids with iridium. So I think we'll send, um, in time, a ship to go and mine that. How about Galaxy Priority? Um, we don't actually have any Arklon, though. Or do we? No, this is just Iridium. Oh, that's annoying. Just, uh, annoying. <laughs> but anyway, I think I've probably gone over my half an hour light sort of time and things, so um, I thank you for watching, and I hope you um, come back. I mean, if you saw something that you thought I should do, or you just... Anything, comments are fantastic. Informative comments are just the bread and butter. So I thank you all again for watching and have a fantastic day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Goodbye.